Ever since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has captured the imagination of astronomers and the public alike. It's the frontier. It's the outer edge of the solar system. A solar system filled with rocky planets like ours and gas giants like Jupiter. But Pluto's small size and loopy orbit make it a different animal altogether. Astronomers have recently reclassified it as a dwarf planet. This is, this is really a new beast, and, uh, and it's the first of this, this breed. Not long after the Hubble Space Telescope was launched in 1990, astronomers focused the new observatory on Pluto and its large moon, Charon. Four years later, Hubble again turned its attention to this remote world, this time to give our first look at its strange surface. When Hubble revisited Pluto in 2002, astronomers began to see a very different looking world. Pluto got redder, markedly redder, just over that very short time span. I was expecting that we, if we would see any change at all, it would be very, very subtle. And instead, it seems like Pluto is, uh, is changing uh, perhaps a little faster than I would have expected. What Pluto's changing landscape means is anybody's guess. But whatever's happening, Hubble's detailed pictures are helping scientists plan the to-do list for NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, a probe whizzing toward the icy planet now and due to arrive there in 2015. We can no longer interpret what we're seeing as a result of a static surface that we're just changing which direction we're looking at. And you really have to have change taking place on the surface to explain the observations. Observations that hint Pluto is not just an oversized snowball, but a dramatically dynamic world on the solar system's final frontier. From the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Mary Estacion.